All right, what's on the bench today? Um, sent into the channel by Redivis. They're always sending me these radios. They, these guys are busy, man. They've <laughs> built lots of different models. Uh, this is a GMRS radio. It's an NR30S. And uh, yeah, it feels like a nice solid radio. It feels like this would be something, you know, you would use on a construction group or uh, maybe if you're off uh, with your Jeeps in the wilderness or whatever, you know, it's a nice solid radio. No bells and whistles. It's just got one knob, just cho choose the channel and then a volume knob. And really that's all you want in a radio like this. Um, if you're going to be playing around with all different, fre yeah, this is not your radio. This is just a GMRS fixed frequency. It's just, you know, it just works. Um, so uh, let's see here. Uh, like I said, let's take a look at how big the battery is. It feels heavy. Uh, it definitely feels heavy. Yeah. Uh, so it has a 2800 milliamp hour. Uh, 4.7 volts. It's all weather sealed. You can drop this. I've done this with other, other Redivis radios. You can drop this in a bucket of water and it's it's just fine. Everything is uh, everything is protected. It's very solid. Um, yeah, uh, it's got a, uh, one transmit button. It's got two auxiliary buttons that probably are programmable. I'm not sure. Um, the uh, antenna I thought was interesting. Let me uh, let me unscrew the antenna. Uh, it uh, seems to have a seal. So when you when you uh, screw it in, it has this tight tight fitting, kind of almost like an O ring that fits inside here. So it definitely makes it really really waterproof. Um, the antenna is marked four hundred to four. 80. Uh, GMRS is around 460, something like that. But yeah, when you screw it in, you get a really good sense that, yeah, it's not going anywhere. And it's not a floppy floppy one either. It's nice and nice and stiff to uh, make sure the antenna is always pointed in the right direction. Um, yeah, well, let's turn it on. What? It's got the talking thing. Okay. Two, one, two, three, four, five. And that's all it's going to do. Three, two. So you can figure one. out what, what channel you want. And then it has a lock button that you can lock, lock it so the, the wheel won't do anything at all. Um, not crazy about the display. Um, oh, that timed out fast. Um, yeah, the display, I don't know. I wish they had better font. If they could uh, invest in, in some time making their making their menu systems look better, I think they could get a lot of mileage out of that. But it's real, very, very basic, and you're not going to really look at the display in any way. You're just going to click it and go. Fourteen, one, one. Well, that's all you need. I'm channel one, whatever you are, and then you're just going to push and talk, push and talk, push and talk. You're really never going to look at the display, so that's probably why they don't spend a lot of time on it. It's got a menu button. Uh, it does have a group button, so if you are in an environment where you have a bunch of different people and maybe each group is on a different set of uh, frequencies or tones or whatever, there is a programmable one group and you can put everybody onto, onto a group. When you hit the group button, then you're talking to everybody. When you hit the talk button, you're only talking to your, your group, um, you know, or your individual, individual group. So, yeah, there you go. Um, it does have, well, let me, let me show you what comes in the box. It comes with a user manual. Whoa. Uh, it comes with um, uh, USB charger, USB charging. It's USB-C. Uh, you can charge it right right here with USB-C. It also comes with a drop-in charger, so if you'd rather do it that way, you can do it that way. Um, comes with a, uh, a belt, belt clip. Did come with a little strap that I put on already. So yeah, it's got everything you, everything you need. Uh, mine came with, I don't know if it's standard, uh, they, they always throw in for me the, a, a charging, uh, I mean a, a programmable cable. Uh, I don't know if this is standard or not, but uh, the charging cable here, and you have to take off this little side plate, and then it goes on. And um, 
Uh, it is not Chirp programmable. I couldn't find a setting for Chirp, but Redivis has their own program just for the uh, for this model. Uh, so there you go. Um, so let's uh, let's hook it up for power output. It's got three levels. Uh, first level is uh, low, which is half a watt. Uh, second level is mid, uh, which is five watts. And then the high setting does uh, does ten watts, so it's a nice uh, nice healthy radio. And uh, let's hook it up to the uh, spectrum analyzer. Make sure it doesn't have any weird harmonics. And the harmonics look quite clean on it. I think it's just fine. And here's the antenna on the uh, VNA. Looks like it has good SWR at the required frequencies. This is a sweep from uh, 400 to 500. All right, well, there you go. I don't, you know, I've done so many reviews of radios and they're, you know, they're all gonna be almost the same. Uh, everything's really good. This one does seem to have a little bit of claim to fame that it has uh, some uh, noise noise canceling features and stuff to try to make it a little bit better. Um, I, haven't really, I haven't really played with it. I can't really comment on the noise canceling feature or not, um, but uh, a, lot of the, a lot of newer radios do seem to have that feature already built into them. Um, but, uh, yeah, what I can say is it feels really good in the hand. It's, it feels very, very rugged and I wouldn't have any problems slapping this thing around. I wouldn't have any problems dropping this thing in a river. Um, it's just going to work. So like I said, need a GMRS radio that just works and it's easy to use. Yeah, that's a good one.